This is a HeadGum Podcast. Monday, 12-12, <laughs> Sorry, Monday, 12-12, Nice. 12-12-12 sounded like it would be a big deal. It's only going to be that date one time in history. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 12-12-12? Uh, well, it would be, yeah, in 100 years it'll be that. Yeah, but that's it. Well, what about 12-12 at 12-12-12? <laughs> that's only once did, ever. <laughs> did anyone care when that happened? Or am I just wasting my fucking breath? 12-12-12 was when the world was supposed to end, wasn't it? Oh, that was the Mayan calendar thing? I think so. Uh, this episode is brought to you by our very own HeadGum store. Did you know Whoa. HeadGum had a store? Uh, yes, dude. Very good. And it's funny you mention that because we finally have Yes Dude shirts. Shirts, dude. Yes, shirts. <laughs> uh, gray, green, blue, red, a different shade of blue. They come in all sorts of styles thanks to Andre, Andre Luis Santos. Luis Santos. For designing. Oh, there's also Yes Dude's hoodies. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, there's also Headgum Swell Water Bottles. Swell Water Bottles, very high quality water bottles. Uh, the price on that guy is 35 bucks. Well, not too bad. Not too Shabbat at all. Uh, so, if you're interested in getting a loved one that happens to be a HeadGum fan, there's also HeadGum shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies, go to store.headgum.com. That's store.headgum.com. Uh, we're already getting some tweets, uh, pictures of people wearing the Yes Dudes shirts. And to that, we do say yes, dude. We say ta-da, dude. Uh, and if you have any ideas for shirts from our podcast or any HeadGum podcast, we can finally add them to our store. Store is sort of bare for now, but it's going to grow very soon, dude. Bottles and yes, dude shirts. That's all we got. Remember when we were here when it was just bottles and yes, dude shirts? Uh, because that's about to change. We're going to be fucking H&M. It's going to be. We're going to merch. We're going to be Uniqlo. All merch, right? merch, 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 da, 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 merch. Merch, 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 merch. merch, merch. merch. Uh, <laughs> so check it out. Uh, just in time for the holidays, I think. Uh, oh, iPhone case too. That's very fun episode today. Gil Ozeri was in the house. Big fan. Big, Big fan. fan. And you guys will be too. Things, of course, got real. Let's get started right away. Head on over to if I were you, got a big old question. I'm ashamed to ask my mom. Hoping I'll get a good answer from these two. Rebecca with the wagon wheel cover. Thank you. That we specifically wow. asked for. Gil, do you know wagon wheel? Uh, the school for children. Yeah, that's right. The school for children. <laughs> that was a, a cover of that. <laughs> that was a cover of a school. Most people choose songs. <laughs> Rebecca covered a school. No, it's a song called Wagon Wheel that we talked about in a previous episode, and we asked people to make a parody. That Thankfully, Rebecca Watts did. Gracias. Uh, so thanks, Rebecca. Uh, Gil Ozeri in the house. Hi. We don't always have a guest. And we rarely have a first-time guest this late in the game. You snuck into the first 250. Virgin. This is episode 249. <laughs> we got you in right in the first 250. That's when things get crazy. Yeah. After 250. <laughs> That's when they, like, introduce third characters and, like, yeah. you know, like the I'm cousin. Pregnant. Yeah, weird twists and turns to keep people interested. You're basically the cousin Oliver of If I Were You. Oh, sweet, perfect. Yeah, we should say that you're the permanent co-host because uh, yeah. <laughs> a spinoff. I don't even know if you know that yet. Oh, I don't. No, yeah. but I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> to be here forever. <laughs> Lock the door. Uh, thanks for coming all the way down to our studio and chatting oh, with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, how would our fans know who you are? Who are oh, you? Oh my god! How do we know you? We know each other. From New York, right? I comedy. Guess, comedy scene. Yeah, you do comedy in New York. Yeah. You um, were in a improv team or was it a sketch team with Ben for a while? We were both. Uh, it was called Hot Sauce. Yeah. Ben Schwartz and Adam Pally. 
Yeah. And, and, yeah. I guess and you. Three people. And me. Yes. Three people. Three dudes. Those are <laughs> three identical morons. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy how that improv group, be, like those three people are pretty successful for three comedians who did improv 10 years ago, right? Sure. Yeah. Ab- way above average. Um. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, would you consider them successful <laughs> define success well, they both seem to be happy in their lives i mean you're yes. married all three of us are ha- are are probably happy <laughs> i know for a fact uh not all three of you are happy yeah that's right uh <laughs> Because I played a nasty prank on Adam Pally this morning. <laughs> Did you? No. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Still keep in touch with those guys? Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. That's I do. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty great. <laughs> Keeping in touch is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that's actually what I'm here to talk to you guys about. Uh, but Text your moms. <laughs> I remember last, it was last year at south by is when we hung out a bunch yeah we did ben and you and that was uh, a lot of fun for the headgum festival and that's when you started your snapchat account was i did yeah holy shit that was the beginning yeah it wasn't even a year ago no it was like seven or eight months wow it feels like forever yeah can you imagine there was a a time in your life before your snapchat it feels like (laughs) another lifetime (laughs) doesn't it pain do you just so much pain between then and now i don't want to get too into it but does it does it do you feel like we should uh, preface we've talked about this on the show before but gil has like the the funniest most insane snapchat oh thank you yeah I, it's better than dj college there, but... <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah. wow which is a high a mark yeah <laughs> yeah high hurdle uh gil discovered snapchat or i guess you already already knew about it but you started snapping last april uh right. doing some crazy things when not a lot of people were watching no, no, like it was basically me, Jake, and forty people it seeing you exactly. pour wine down your pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like forty people. We're like, wait, why are you jumping in public fountains for us for? <laughs> That's when be... it felt the most worth it. <laughs> <laughs> now, many more people are watching, and would you say you're doing less crazy stuff? I'm a view slut. Uh, no, yeah, less crazy stuff. Um... I don't think totally less. You, sh- no, you totally shredded less. your hair last night. Not, yeah, that's true. <laughs> not totally less. <laughs> but you haven't destroyed less, anything. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't destroyed. Not not recently. <laughs> All right, not my car. Hopefully I'll, soon. I want to talk about more after the break, but we got. <laughs> okay, cool. We got. Let's first try, at the very least, try to answer some people's questions. This is if I were you. It's an advice podcast. Great. So people will email us at the show, and Jake and I will try to do our best. Uh, if you were them. If yeah. you were them, that's correct. So we're trying to give these people advice. What would we do in their uh, shoes? Sometimes it's just me and Jake. Sometimes we have very funny friends in Can the I house. Can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel guilty about the advice that you give? Yeah. One time you gave some pretty shady STD advice. Yeah, but I made good on that. <laughs> <laughs> I told people that they didn't have to get tested for STDs. <laughs> If they didn't they, show symptoms of it. Yeah, because I was like, if you had an STD, you would know. And then somebody from Planned Parenthood got in touch with me, and they said that was very dangerous. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I went back, and I said that they... And I said, should... well, maybe you should start a podcast. Baby. People will listen to your shit. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> and then, Why don't but... you talk about it on your show? That's right, because you're not funny. <laughs> what but if I want fucking... people to die? <laughs> then I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor, and they were like... Uh, because I also, part of me making good, I said I was going to go get tested for STDs. Oh, that was nice. And I did. And I went to the doctor and they're like, what do you want to get tested for? I was like, everything. And they're like, well, what symptoms do you have? And I was like, well, I, <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be able to test. And then you look at your... proved correct <laughs> by a doctor. You look, you look at your email and the email was never there at all. It was <laughs> just, just like your, conscience. Yeah, <laughs> emailing you like the telltale heart. No, no, everybody get tested, even if you don't have to, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just give blanket overarching safe and like look both ways yeah. don't drive past the speed limit the condom advice too yeah always wear a condom even if you're not sexually active even if you're not having <laughs> sex you don't know what you can fall into <laughs> yeah folks um so we have a question right here from uh oh this might be from a lady i thought it was from a guy but it was it was uh it was it appears to be from a lady uh so what we do is you give these people fake names just so we could talk about them, preserving their anonymity. Oh, you actually did this for us once at our live show. I think it was. Oh, at, that's right. Yeah, it was at, um, at South By. Yeah, Ben 
Ben asks you to come up with names. So for That's the second right. time ever, can you come up with a lady's name to call this lady? Uh, Desha. <laughs> <laughs> so spell that. D E S H A. <laughs> okay, last name. Uh, Onitis. <laughs> <laughs> you are good at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Desha Onitis. That's great. We can, can we call you every time we record? Sure, yeah, totally. Just leave us a voicemail of 20 names every week. <laughs> Just call into the voicemail and keep leaving. Oh. Uh, all right, Desha Onitis writes, This is my second time this week emailing you with a sticky situation. For Christmas, my best, my best friend's girlfriend asked me if I wanted to cover a song for my best friend as a Christmas gift. Now, I play guitar, but I'm really bad. I'm not even being modest. I suck ass. I'm really <laughs> slow at changing chords, and I'm not precise at all. Hell, I'm worse than Jake. Is that that? <laughs> I told the girlfriend that I would try out the song to get back to her, but that I couldn't make any promises because I'm not very good. My best friend even warned the girlfriend about uh, this since I've been playing guitar for three years, and I haven't played a lick of it in front of my best friend. Fast forward to a few weeks, and I've gotten down the first bit of the song, and it's extremely rough. The girlfriend is very musically inclined, so I'm afraid that she'll be really critical of my horrible skills. To add to that, she wants to put it on YouTube. I'm totally uncomfortable with any of this anymore, and I'm afraid to le I've let it go too far. The girlfriend is really excited and has already arranged her part, which is a violin, for the cover. I don't have the heart to tell her I'm backing out, but I don't want to be on the girlfriend's bad side. But according to my best friend, she gets frustrated really easily. So what should I do? Can I back out? Am I too late? I'm freaking out. Help. Love, Desha. 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 Um, does any of this stuff ring true to you? Have you ever like done a half favor and then found yourself weeks yeah. down the line? You're like, shit. I think so. I shouldn't have said yes at all. I feel all. like once you commit, you have like a window to quit. <laughs> that's a good, that's a, good, that's a nice catch rhyme, phrase. rhyme too. Yeah. Once you commit, you've got a window to yeah. quit. It's yeah, like, it's, I think it's like a marriage uh, <laughs> axiom. I, I, I feel like you have like a small window, but once you're down the road, It's right? like changing your weeks. flight. Changing your flight. You have 24 hours after yeah. you purchase it. Afterwards, you're just kind of stuck. Yeah. yeah. What do it's you guys like, think? You can always change for for a small fee and the difference in fare. <laughs> I'd like to Does surrender my favor for $50. You, you keep whatever also, you have. Yeah, you could go just credit and then uh, Oh, like, for a, a favor flight. later. Yeah. Uh, what was the question? The uh, Remember with the time we said we would do somebody's student film sort of haphazardly? Oh, yeah, and then I was like booked solid for a month. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it turned out to be a much bigger shoot than you've ever imagined. By the time you like read the script, it was too late. Yeah, because and then I also once you had commit, to like, oh man, I had to. You missed your window to quit. I really did, and then I was in. Well, I, I, what I did was like I tried to not even say yes. I was just like, I'm super busy. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. And then he came up to me and he was like, I want you to do it. He just showed me a calendar. He's like, You just show me when you're free. <laughs> yeah, that's and manipulative. We'll and I was like, Well, shit. All I, my only excuse. This is what, where I learned a very, really valuable lesson was to never say your business. Like, never say an excuse that somebody can, can like, get out can of. Get yeah. out of. Yeah. Totally. That's like blowing you and going, just say yes or no <laughs> while I blow you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like also there's the thing of like. Whenever I agree to do like a show, I'm always like the day of. I'm like, why? Yeah, you fucking asshole. And I've why? noticed the further out it is, the more likely you are to say yes. Yes, yes. So it's like, do, will you do our show in April? I'm like, yeah, sure. sure. Do yeah, you don't even think about it. But if there, if that same show is like, will you do a show this Saturday? Yeah. Like I can't. I don't know if I could do this. Yeah, because you're like, I'm gonna die someday yeah. too. So whatever. <laughs> and then, but then ac actually the. Right after the show, you're just like, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'll say yes the next time. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned nothing. Yeah. I just hate making plans in general. So like, you don't, but yeah. you don't like to commit at all. I, it's my least favorite thing in the world. What about RSVPing to like, uh, like we're getting birthday party invites, let's say. You're getting the paperless post. Are you RSVPing yes or no, or are you leaving it? Back? I RSVP to everything, yes, because yeah. I like people to have like a little like, oh, look, Jake's on top of <laughs> That's it. That's what you Jake's can always say it. no, right? You <laughs> yeah. can always say no later. I mean, I guess... That's just yeah. answering the question. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big <laughs> RSVP yes text no like, yes. like day yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a huge. Uh, That's the move. I'm a huge say no, and then if it's if it's likely, I'll show up. Then it's like pleasantly surprised. <laughs> yeah. That Either would, way, we I'm lie. Not... <laughs> 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 lie first, tell the truth second. 
Uh, so what would you say to this person specifically? It's too late for her to lie. I think so. Well, she's a couple weeks down the road. She, yeah. can't, she can't pull it out now. I, yeah. I, 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 it sounds like she's not practicing. It's she's, been weeks. She's not doing the work. She's like, it has been weeks and I haven't gotten any, any better. I know she has not been sitting with the guitar the entire time. Yeah. Desha sucks ass. I think she has a leg to stand on, though, in like – putting it online and she could say like i would oh. rather you not do that that's true you got to yeah. find the thing that changed since you agreed to yes. it yes so <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the rules of the game have changed yeah you've broken the contract therefore it's <laughs> null and void like if you said yes to a show at ucb and then like the day before they're like it's actually going to be at the pit and you'd be like i can't do that. <laughs> yeah I'm no, out. definitely oh, are you crazy <laughs> <laughs> I'm a UCB only yeah, kind of guy. Oh, God. It feels so good when you want to cancel and somebody else cancels. Yeah, because then it's all the shame of uh, on them and all the joy for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I liked Sweet about relief. Desha's question? That she used the word hell as like a pivot. Like, <laughs> like what? Hell, I, I didn't even want... Like, I haven't <laughs> heard that in a long time. time. Uh, yeah. Hell, <laughs> by God. <laughs> yeah, by God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just skimming this email, uh, she never used the word like that. <laughs> you were going to say that regardless, hoping that I wouldn't <laughs> call you out. <laughs> That's what you like about yourself. Hell, I love it Wait, too. Wait, it's not there? No, it is. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually haven't found it. That's but why I you were out. right about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I see a little notebook that you brought that was like, bring up the hell thing. <laughs> yeah. You just see crossed it off. Test the waters about the hell thing. <laughs> and then say like, for the next question, be like, I like the part where she complimented me. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you're saying too late. You got to commit. I think so. But you got the little out of the YouTube thing. Yeah. Yeah, then it's just embarrassing yourself in front of your friend and your girlfriend, his uh, girlfriend. Agreed. So, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, next question comes from a guy. So we need a guy's name? Oh, uh, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth save. Roy, I saved it at the last minute. I think I saved it, right? Uh, oh, Grego. Roy, Roy Pagrego. Roy Pagrego. God damn, these names are good. Uh, dear guys, for Christmas, my workplace is having a adopt a family drive where we buy presents for families that can't afford it. My coworkers are all attempting to gather as much cash as possible in order to buy some pretty expensive gifts that some kids have asked for. Things like an iPod and a two hundred dollar doll. My coworkers have asked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! My they still co- make iPods. <laughs> iPod Touch. My coworkers have asked me to dig into my pockets to donate multiple times now. However, I'm a college student that is trying to save money. I also think it's a little fishy that a kid who's supposed to be poor is asking for such expensive gifts. All right. All right. I know it sounds terrible, <laughs> yeah. but I don't want to give up my hard-earned cash. How do I tell my coworkers this without them hating me? They all know that I just got my paycheck, so I can't say that I don't have any money. Does it make me a bad person to not want to donate to this specific charity? I look forward to your reply. Hmm. 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 What do you think? What are your initial reactions? Um. Instant feedback. Gut oof. thoughts. Is I mean, a- I feel like he, he can say, I mean, if he really has an issue, it sounds like it depends on what his issue is. If it's like, I don't want to give to, I don't want to give my money up. That's yeah. one thing. But yeah. like, if he doesn't have, if he's in a situation where he really can't give money yeah and I, I don't think you should be forced to do it right i don't know yeah at, at what point is the gift uh, the money that you give better than saying no at all for example saying no is probably get better than giving a dollar no that's not true yeah you're saying you can give a dollar i think a dollar give... isn't a slap in the face i th- well i guess a dollar's a slap in the face so at what point does the dollar amount become better than saying uh, no? no i mean a dollar uh, no is a slap <laughs> in the face too <laughs> No, but no, it's like you have you're you're making some sort of moral. Stance. He also has the option to say "fuck you," <laughs> oh, yeah. which is like so slightly "fuck worse. you." There's no, and there's a dollar. Those are their three options. <laughs> <laughs> "Fuck you" is a real sl- "fuck you" is a punch in the gut. Yeah, one dollar uh, is a slap in the face, <laughs> but a two dollar bill that's slap just on the wrist. Uh, so you're saying five dollars is fine? I think give? he's got to say like legitimately ask himself how much he can give if he if they're doing. It is sort of rude to assume. <laughs> that everyone can give the same amount of money. Yeah, and, but right? nobody's expecting him to to do the full price of the doll. Right? No, yeah, I don't think I don't think I I doubt. He's not going to the American good. doll store and buying a little a Kirsten. Rebecca. We all know Rebecca's <laughs> the best one. Is there still Kirsten? I don't know actually. I never 
They had American Girl dolls, if you can imagine. But you have uh, nieces, and you buy them American. You've been to the American Girl doll store more recently than I have. That's <laughs> and true. And somehow you know Rebecca. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's the Jewish one. That's, <laughs> that's just, the extent of my knowledge. You, you did just say, like, Rebecca's the best one, and then say, I don't know American Girl dolls. I don't know Kirsten, I said. <laughs> Uh, how about just that last question? Does it make me a bad person to not want to donate to this charity? I think it makes you a bad person to not want to donate to any charity. Mm, now we're opening it up. If Let me can. think about that. Let's to, take a four-hour break. To this, <laughs> to this specific charity, maybe not. I, I've been in that situation where I'm like looking at a charity and then being like, oh, this one's for toys for kids. But isn't there like sex trafficking? Yeah. I want to donate to that one. Or if it's like, hey, this one saves raccoons in Asia. And you're like, wait, <laughs> why don't we do humans in America? Why is he so against this one? Uh, Specifically? I, th- I think he thinks that uh, poor people shouldn't be asking for such expensive gifts. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying it's okay to not Poor people should to- want, like, what? Like a fucking <laughs> lettuce for fucking Christmas? <laughs> Just like, what give is me that? a can of beans, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah. That's what they already have into the stereotype. Right. I think you yeah. don't want to get, you do not want to, like, scrooge yourself <laughs> yeah. and get into this situation of, like, oh, okay. <laughs> Poor people can have beans and not iPods. Yeah. What about the cup and ball? <laughs> <laughs> or the ball on a, a lot of ball on a strings as shitty gifts. I don't know, yeah, that's the paddle really ball one. You really don't want to lose the ball. Yeah, yeah that string's expensive too. I don't know. <laughs> Can you just do just a ball and a paddle, no string? <laughs> You're poor. This is what you deserve. <laughs> Don't have any dreams. <laughs> Nothing comes back to you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a single use. So you smack the ball and it's just forever gone. Uh, so what you, what's the advice here? Just give a little... Yeah, give what you can. Yeah, give a give little a, bit. I don't think that anybody in his company is going to be like, hey, you only gave five bucks. We all know what your paycheck is. Yeah. yeah. Give a little more. Because they don't what, know like what, what you do with your money. And are you really making a fucking huge stink about this? Like, yeah. It's just a charity. Just <laughs> help out and <laughs> anytime, be quiet. <laughs> anytime you, I try to be like miserly with my money in any way, I think about like just – occasionally spending like $30 on a porn subscription or something or <laughs> or like $200 on a bar tab when I'm trashed like I should just not buy nine vodka Red Bulls when I go out. And, and then, then you I could do this. Yeah. I or can... you should get hammered at home and just open up a, a giving website. I, what is that called? The the charity advisor? I could I could out. straight up buy an American Girl doll store if I just streamed free porn from now on. <laughs> <laughs> if I could trade in my cum for... <laughs> <laughs> you would have saved like four families. <laughs> Starving families in Africa if they could eat my seed. I'm sorry, so sorry. I'm just nutting... <laughs> Uh, Charity Navigator is the website that tells you uh, specifically which charities are, I guess, better than others? And they sponsor this show. Yeah, <laughs> they should. <laughs> we would take money from them. the answer is always your foundation, isn't it? Weird. Uh, yeah, spelled Navigator slightly incorrectly so that I got all the money. No, it's CharityNavigator.org. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's answer one more question before the break. Yeah. Uh, I want to get to a sexy one. We usually get a lot of sexy ones, but those are two non-sexy ones. Here's a sexy one. Uh, this one's called Friends Cousin. Okay. Mm. Sounds so, like this person had sex with their friend's cousin. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a guy, it's a 16-year-old's name, a 16-year-old male's name. Uh, <laughs> Joyce, Joyce Pepsi. <laughs> Joyce Pepsi. Or is it Joyce Joyce Pepsi? Joyce Joyce Pepsi. <laughs> it's like Duck <laughs> Duck Duck Goose uh, at the Pepsi Joyce. headquarters. Joyce. 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 Pepsi. Joyce. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm 16 and a junior in high school and I have a bit of a problem. I'm in love with my best friend's cousin. She's a complete dime and a total <laughs> smoke show and just a great person to be around. She's 17 and a senior and doesn't go to my school, so I don't see her often. But when I do, it's always a great time. I really want to – I really want to – Is Sinatra writing this? <laughs> Hell, we really have a kickback. <laughs> uh, I really want to ask her out, but there are a couple of problems. First – I don't think she even knows that I like her, let alone that I'm in love with her, so I have no idea what she would say if I asked her. Second, 
I don't know my, how my best friend would react to this. He said jokingly in the past things like, bro, if you dated my cousin, we'd be related. He was high when he said it, so I'm not sure if he meant it. So my question is, should I try to get over her because it's just too complicated? Should I talk to my friend first to see if he's okay with it? Or should I just seize the cheese and ask her out? Any advice would really help. Also, since she's a senior in high school, she's going to be going to college next year, and I'll have to wait another year. So would it even be worth it to ask her out at this point? When she could be leaving in six months to college? It went from Sinatra to Woody (laughs) Allen. (laughs) I mean, how could you say that? Thanks so much for your help. Uh, Love, Joyce Pepsi. Joyce, Joyce Pepsi. Joyce, Joyce Joyce, Joyce, Pepsi. Uh, Hmm. Thoughts? Um, I guess he's probably – he's worried that he shouldn't ask out the cousin. Yeah. Because his friend might get mad. Well, two reasons. One, she doesn't know that he likes he likes her, right? Which is not a real reason not to ask someone out. Yeah, it's well, the, a, that was the first question. Yeah. Is just <laughs> silly. It's like why? That's the reason to ask someone <laughs> yeah, out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Find out. <laughs> yeah. Should I ask her out? I'm afraid she doesn't know that I like her. <laughs> Without her knowing that, the question sort of feels like it's coming out of left field. Yeah. <laughs> and two, you tell her, buddy. Would you date your friend's cousin, or is that too complicated of a sticky situation? Of course not. Friend's yeah. cousin. Friend's cousin? It's not like it's, you know, <laughs> uh, a sibling or some. I, I mean, even then, it's like fine. It feels like just ask, I guess, the friend and say, hey, listen, I'm going to do this. Well, yeah. you're, Maybe don't even ask permission. No, definitely not. It's, yeah. It's like, just say, hey, I'm you interested. You better not hurt my, co- my yeah. fucking cousin. It's, Giller, you're married. Yes. Uh, is she happening to be your best friend's cousin? Well, the cousin is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're married to your cousin you yes. cut out the, you eliminated the middleman <laughs> i wonder if you can go back and then now become friends with your wife's cousins mm. that way you can sort of relate family to this guy. sort of right. disowned the guys yeah uh would you date a friend's cousin i think so it doesn't feel that i mean like it doesn't feel that crazy you realize that cousins could be male so what you just admitted to was mm. that you were willing to be gay hey <laughs> why not i mean i don't I, I yeah i don't uh i don't see an issue unless it's like yeah, yeah. Just say, hey, I'm going to do this. If he has or she uh, has an issue, they'll say, hey, look, I have an issue with it. And what, then you say, and then you say, why? Yeah, you say, fuck you again. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, cousin, man? Yeah. What about sister, friend, sister? Still okay? A little weirder? Um, it would. I mean, it would depend. It, it would depend on the situation. How like if, how long do I know this twins. person for? Twins, twins, <laughs> Siamese, twins, twins. <laughs> best friends, twin. <laughs> <laughs> Male twin in uh, a wig. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally kissing the friend. This sounds like it. Did he, the guy, he, when he was high, he said he had an issue? Is that what it was? When he was high. He said, This is so unrelated to this thing, I think. Yeah. When he was high, the guy said, If, if you dated my cousin, we'd be related, which is untrue. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not how dated. dating yeah. works. <laughs> Very complicated We'd be family Eskimo trees. cousins. Because <laughs> I fucked my own cousin. Uh, and then I like the, the mental out that he's giving himself. It's like, you know, she's going to college anyway in six months. It's not going to work yeah. out. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Six no, months no. is a real long time to date somebody. That sounds yeah. like an excuse. That sounds like an excuse. So what we can say, because it's easy to be us, is just, just go for it. Just go yep. for it. Even though it's scary. Would you ask the cousin for permission first? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't ask the cousin not for permission. permission. I, would, I would bring it up and like not even in a way of like, I'm going to ask her out. I'd be like, man, I have a, like, a huge crush on your cousin. Oh, it is a more sly way. Yeah. And, then like... he's, and then he's like, oh, I can help set that up. I think she likes you too. Oh, that's, that's... The, that is the dream, obviously. Of if course. he says she likes you too. Yeah. But what if, she did, what if he's like, I wouldn't do that? Then do you still go for it? Well, I guess you yes. could maybe glean some information. <laughs> yeah. So that's the not asking for permission part. It, uh, yeah, I feel like asking for permission, it's like, why, what it, why does another person get to decide <laughs> yeah. whether, you, you Especially know. with cousins, man. Are you so close to any of your cousin that you would, like, care about who they dated? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not care, but it would be, I guess kind of interesting it would be it wouldn't not it would not register if i wanted on me. to date your cousin yeah it would i would be like huh that's interesting like i would understand as a human being if it affected someone else's life and i would be like look i get it whatever but you sort of weigh like what you want versus <laughs> the, those things i don't know honestly yeah. if it was just time does this guy spend with his cousin <laughs> yeah. be like, it, it'd be real weird if you dated my cousin. cousins really run a gamut you can have cousins that yeah. are like one out of a hundred or like cousins that are like borderline <laughs> right you have cousins that have never met yeah right? yeah 
<laughs> just like Frenching cousins. You- <laughs> just like you just fucking kiss them and they, that's all. You have a sister, right? <laughs> I do, yeah, yeah. Uh, would you be down or okay or has any of your friends ever made out with your sister? People, yeah, uh, not mm, made out, possibly. Fingered uh, definitely. I don't, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, yes, people I know who I've, I've been friends with before they dated my sister have dated my sister. Oh, and did they, did they tell yeah, you? But not uh, – I mean I found out. I don't right. remember exactly the timeline. But no one has ever gone like, can hey, I have man, your sister? Can I do this, <laughs> man? I feel like that's almost like – it almost makes the woman feel yeah. like, what? You need permission? <laughs> like it's like she's an object that she's like there to be like – you know, bargained over. <laughs> well, if you do this with As her, you know, I am the gatekeeper to my sister. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's, all roads to my sister pass through me. Yeah, also funny. The question is inherently misogynist. If you're 13 years younger than your sister, you yeah. ask the little boy next to her, <laughs> "May I have your sister's you gotta hand?" Pay the older brother tax, man. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich, brother. I think, and it is weird. Anytime it's happened. <laughs> With my sisters, I usually find out after. So I, like someone will be like, "Oh, I like By the asked, way. yeah, like I this I'm dating your sister, yeah." Mm-hmm. And then I have to sort of be like, "Oh, all right, <laughs> good to know." <laughs> yeah, GTK brother. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's take the break now. We'll thank a few sponsors while we're away, and we'll be right back with more Gil after this. Thanks as well to BlueApron.com for sponsoring this episode. Thank you, guys. Y'all may or may not know what they do already, but let me just say, Blue Apron works. Uh, What they do is send you specific pre-portioned ingredients to your door to make incredible meals, and they are not only setting high-quality standards for food, but it's also a very great variety, very flexible, and incredibly easy to make yeah and we know you guys like food everybody likes dinner yeah and this basically teaches you how to make dinner they sent us stuff a box shows up at our home we get the ingredients we get the recipes we make the food we eat the food that's not the question (laughs) oh yeah the question is how do you make food but blue apron tells you uh and to make matters even a little sweeter if you go to blueapron.com slash if i were you they're going to give you your first three meals for free with free shipping. So you're not paying for shipping. You're not paying for the first three meals. And that's if you go to blueapron.com slash if I were you. So you're learning how to make stuff like Japanese ramen noodles, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, heirloom tomatoes, salads, meats, uh, anything you want based on your dietary preferences. Or restrictions. Uh, you can adjust accordingly. They got something for everybody. We highly recommend them. It's blueapron.com slash if I were you. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Toda as well, because Blue Apron wasn't the only sponsor of this episode. Yeah, guys. Toda as well to tr- trunkclub.com for sponsoring this episode. Like those guys a lot, truly. The way Trunk Club works is that they set you up with a personal stylist to make sure you look your best. Uh, you go to trunkclub.com slash if I were you, type in your measurements, share your likes and dislikes, and then Trunk Club will send you a trunk of clothes directly to your door, handpicked by your very own personal stylist. We're really making it so you never have to leave the comfort of your own home again. Yeah, that's what the internet is doing for us. So if you don't really want to F with shopping, yeah. going around to malls and saying, does this look good? I don't know. Trunk Club literally atta- uh, assigns you a real human personal stylist. We've used them before. Mm-hmm. They make us look Multiple better. Times. We uh, went back when they weren't paying us a couple times, too. That's right. It's not a subscription service, okay? You order clothes whenever you like, and they'll send it to you. You'll have five days to try everything on, and then you just return what you don't like. And if you live in Dallas, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, D.C., or Charleston, they have a Trunk Club clubhouse that you can work with your stylist in person for free. We went to the one in L.A. It was great. It's very classy, very Williamsburg chic in there. So uh, you can get started today at trunkclub.com slash if I were you. It's a good gift for someone. You can get them the gift of looking better. That's trunkclub.com slash. Someone should get it for your face. What's that? (laughs) You said it would be a gift of looking better, and I said so much. Oh! (laughs) Oh! 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 He's accosting me! (laughs) He's jerking me off! (laughs) Uh, If you go to trunkclub.com. 
com. <laughs> Call the authority. <laughs> slash if I were you. Uh, make yourself look better today. Trunkclub.com. Slash if I were you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for supporting our sponsors. Thanks for supporting our show. You're making us look good. Hell yeah. And we, in turn, are hopefully making you look good. Back to kill. And we're back. Okay. How many people watch your Snapchat? Oh, come on. What? We have to reveal that here. Is it a <laughs> right. private? Is it a secret? Um, you don't have to say if you're not comfortable. No, I'm fine. There was... Um, Wait, let me take a sip of my drinks oh, when okay. you say it. There so was a time out. around... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is, what is, he actually did a spit take onto his computer. <laughs> On his computer. Um, there was around like 50,000 views per snap when Snapchat updated their sort of program oh. it, it, it like they they updated so it doesn't roll into the next snap oh it, 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 my I've views went that. down did you notice that you know my views did go down and that happened but i didn't realize the correlation yes there. yeah rolling into the next snap yeah which i guess is better you know more who's actually clicking on your name to watch the You're right the numbers are more honest but lower yes Correct. Interesting. That's pretty crazy. So now it's like a bat down to four people again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Back into the kill. It's because your, your name on Snapchat is D- DJ Kalita, so yeah, you were just exactly. getting spill off. <laughs> getting spill off. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Fifty thousand. Yeah. From just literally zero. Yes, from zero. Fifty grand is like were you like the one of the first people that just like almost like a kid that started on Vine and like uh-huh. you're like one of the first people that started <laughs> on Snapchat, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know how long it was. Was it? How, were you guys on it for a while before I? I, I don't before know. April? Ma- I think it was around for like a, a good while. But. Snapchat used to be more of a messenger thing, and then right. the, I don't know when stories like, the like stories sex like pics for kids, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the stories I thing was on just it like sex pics for kids. <laughs> you were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you were the pioneer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was the one collecting all, all the kids. <laughs> all right, children, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, the Pied idea Piper. of the idea of using it as content creation didn't come until later. I think. Where it's right. like, oh, they're Story. telling us how many people are watching. I can do something with that. Right. I guess most people use it to, you know, whatever, to do sort of like whatever, you know, just snapping what's around them and what they're doing sort of. And, right. Do you, you know, uh, do you. And I do that less and less, I guess. Do you ever chat or use that functionality or is it more I do, story? yeah. I mean, people will send me videos and. Oh, and, it's open. You're images. open. I'm totally Public. open. What's your Snapchat name, we should say? G, uh, it's Gil Ozeri. That's G-I-L-O-Z-E-R-I, it. G-I-L-O-Z-E-R-I. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, do you, are you like kind of. I don't want to say ashamed because that's like putting too much like pressure on it. But like, are you like scared of like, oh, I'm not just a Snapchat guy or like you're totally embracing the Snapchat? Yeah, thing. I don't care. I mean, it's it, I mean, like I I because you've been doing comedy I've for made like 15 fun of people years. who are on Vine. Right. So like <laughs> I, I can take it also. I, I get that it's Snapchat. I get what it is. But also I'm like the only thing that's sort of defining about it is that it's like really it's like quick stuff but i feel like it could be i could release it all these things on uh any platform and it would still be the same sort of content i mean some of my stuff is like 10 seconds but other stuff is like 10 snaps you know my Stories. the bit is 10 snap and it's like a minute and a half yeah, the, so, door, the uh death of a salesman and stuff was really yeah funny. oh thanks man i um, thought you were actually going to die or hurt yourself with the, the death one where you try there was one where oh you, the business one where yeah. i jumped off yeah. the uh, thing yeah. <laughs> yeah um you you had to I, you had to get over on the uh, traffic side of a highway overpass yeah, that's true. That was like a dangerous. That was a thing. dangerous one. Yeah. <laughs> I also just because we're talking about all these snaps, we should also say that uh, they're on Instagram at Gil Ozeri Snaps. That's right? correct. Oh, so, so you, you can, can watch like, the backlog. Yeah. So everything that we're talking about, people can still go watch. Yes, they're all uploaded there on my Instagram account. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would love because it's so stupid. It's on Snapchat. I, I, I relish in sort of making people think that I'm doing something really dangerous or yeah. stupid or whatever. Um, I sort of feed off people going, oh, my God, I'm worried about you. Which, you know, <laughs> rightfully so, but I, 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 still, I still like – We I'm really like, thought you were going to – in the beginning when you were like running across the uh, across the traffic intersection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweeping up a, like, a pine cone or something? <laughs> yes. Is that one of the earliest ones? Yeah, that was. That was real early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like riding a, a wheeled uh, office chair through traffic. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> also, didn't you duct tape yourself to a, like the side of a car recently? I did that recently i did like a, my own like homemade sidecar have you ever gotten in trouble with like the 
law in any way? Um, a couple times, yes. I, uh, one that was like a failed snap where I was, <laughs> what uh, <happened? laughs> I was at like, you know that Target on La Brea and Santa Monica? Mm-hmm. I v- frequent there a lot because I need like <laughs> – you know, I do a lot of props like stuff. <laughs> and so I have to get like I'm always at Target and it sucks. That's one of the problems like with my Snapchat is that I'm at fucking Target or the 99 cent store or Ralph's like four days a week. Anyway, so I'm at Target and I you know those like the gate, you know, uh, arm bar thing, <laughs> yeah. the bar. Yeah. So I was sitting there in, in the car with my sister. I was like, oh, let me ride that thing. I was like, you film it. I'm going to go ride it. And as, she's in, like, as in, like, as in like side get saddle on, it, she, yeah, saddle like it. get on it, like hold on to it, you know, in my <laughs> closer full to body, the tip or the closer to the base, right in the middle, like uh, full, full body. You pay for the thing, and I will rise with it. Hopefully, it can carry your weight. Yeah, hopefully, it can yeah. carry my weight. Little, I was so stupid. I, I was just like, she's like, oh, okay. I didn't see anyone around. I like, sh- I, I, as soon as I get on the thing, it just collapses to the floor. <laughs> Me holding on to it, full body, the whole arm just falls off immediately. It was like made of fucking tissue paper. And like four security guards to run so out. Warm. I didn't even see the offices. They were right there the office. Guns like, drawn. Yeah, guns drawn, like shooting first. And I was just like, I, and they were like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, uh, I just tried to get to the other side. He's like, I saw you, you shit. Like, I saw you get on and try to ride it. And I was just like, no, no. No, no. And we like <laughs> argued and then they held me there for like, uh, I don't know, half an hour or whatever. And then finally decided to let me go. It's funny because he probably deals with dumb teenagers doing All that. All the time. And yeah. you're just like a well-dressed 34-year-old <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. comedy writer. Like a wedding ring. Yeah, like <laughs> a what, wedding what, ring. What are you He's doing? like, you're married. You fuck, You should be ashamed of yourself. You and you fucking, are. Yeah, and I am. I'm so <laughs> disgusting. I remember there was one early on that... I guess Ben shot where you were going. It was the beginning of the day. It was like 9 a.m. Mm. and you're on the way to write with him and you saw a puddle and you tried to circumnavigate the puddle, but as a joke, you just fell face, in, face planted into the puddle. Yeah, so it was like yourself. a perfect thing that I do. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I do extremely simple things, but yeah. really stupid. Incredibly stupidly. wrong. Yeah, perfect yeah. is fucking. And I was like, yeah, did, was you. this part of the plan? And Ben was telling me that, like, no, you like. When you come up with the ideas, it's almost like you're a slave to your own own mind. That like, you oh, can't, you yeah. can't yeah. not do it. Yes, now I have like, that issue. Fuck! Now I have to get wet. I have wet. to. Yes. Even though, like, what did you do after that? Like, you're soaking I, I was wet soaking at nine a.m. <laughs> I was just soaking so wet. What you do? You have to go home. Ben like, gave me like shitty clothes that he like never wanted back. <laughs> like, as you jumped in another puddle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put yourself in situations that inconveniences yourself so I much. I did have an obsessive like need to. I, because I, I, I mean, I'm, you may have heard this before from, uh, like, we may have talked about it before, but I had, like, a problem putting things out, like, I, I like, creative shit. Like, I was like, I have to get it perfect. I was like uh, a perfectionist, you sort have of. to get it perfect. Before, yeah, perfect. <laughs> and then, uh, when Snapchat came, I was just like, oh, I can just shit stuff out and, like, put, do whatever is funny. And then it's sort of, it's turned into it, it did turn into for a while a thing where i was just like oh fuck i have to keep this going i can't stop because well if i don't then i'll if i stop for one day you know i'll i'll stop forever <laughs> and then also like i'm i this is what i wanted to do i wanted to feel like free to put stuff out right and now i'm doing it and now i i, I didn't want that to stop right and so for like set i think last month i i did one every single day it took me a while to just decide to do one a day right and then it took me a while to say okay i can skip one day here and there right you um, were doing weekends too. yeah i was doing i was doing i had done every single day for like seven months straight Holy and it shit. was like some of them took like three or four hours to do do you have a day job when you're doing this i like, did i had i worked i wrote on like uh that show it's coming out big mouth on netflix yeah uh Crowley and Mulaney's thing and then i just ha- was on another period and i was i would <laughs> so i would work the full day just be come drained home, be drained creatively. come home at like six seven o'clock and then snap for three hours and then just fucking every pour day. water all over your kitchen exactly pour and salt in your bed bless my wife she was like filming all of them and, and she, she was there ever <clears throat> anything that she was you know, she's holding the phone. She's like, you know what? No, you can't do this. Yes. Yeah. A <laughs> so bunch there, of there are snaps that like. But I will, I like, I will 
if I really want to do something, I'll try to push it or like whatever. Are you like, I'm really sorry, but I thought of one where I put pepper Yes, I'm sorry, but I have to like throw a pickle jar in our kitchen and like <laughs> and it's have real glad as long as you clean She's it just up. like, I'm not just, yeah, she goes into the bedroom, locks the door and I, she won't come out until everything. Well, what's do, you come, do you like clean. come into the bedroom after like, hey, <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, I did a perfect job. And then it's just like, there's glass everywhere. My cat has like, is bleeding. His paws are like bleeding. And I'm like, I did it. It's like Homer building a birdhouse. <laughs> it's just terrible. Um, uh, like, what's the, what's like, uh, just one example of a, uh, something that was too date, like you almost did it, but then ultimately decided that you couldn't do it. Oh, do you have any man. regrets or any, any ones that you wish your wife was willing to film? Oh my God. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, uh, like that my wife was just like, no, I can't do this. Or what about the one? There's that- been a bunch of why nots where uh, that that <laughs> one that's, that's serious. That's why I sort of was just like, all right, I'll stop. Oh, you stopped I, I why nots? I, I think I well, I haven't done one for a long time. <laughs> I only did two days of it. But the first why not we should say for those of you not familiar uh, is Gil just slowly shoving a full mug of coffee off a table. It's beautiful. It shatters it's like on- cinematic. <laughs> yeah, just like you really and that's like <clears throat> what I loved about watching those too. Like it was so guttural. But it's it lands like, on the floor, shatters, and there's just coffee. And yes. It Ceramic all yeah. over your kitchen nudge, floor. Nudge. Yeah. But I've done like those ones. I've done like full days. I'm like, all right, this is a day where I'm just doing why not stuff. Inconveniencing yourself. Yes. Which one was the biggest inconvenience? Like for an eight second video, what did you do the most and damage? Just, just to, for some context for everybody listening, uh, there, I remember <laughs> one where you poured vinegar on all of your shoes. Oh, wait, uh, Crisco. Yeah, oh, Crisco on all your shoes. You poured milk out in the trunk of your car. Yes. Uh, and you you also, drove your car and hit something. You crashed. I crashed my car a couple of times. Once in. <laughs> To a tree, and then in the uh, at the arc light. Are you leasing all or the, uh, You own your car, or lease. I that's why I keep that car. I have like a shit car from that like can, that banger, I bought when I first got to LA. Yeah, yeah. like an old Ford Mustang. <laughs> it's like fifteen years old, and I cannot get rid of because I use it to like. I, like, as a prop, yeah, as a prop, it's basically a prop in my Snapchat stuff. <laughs> um, All right, yeah. So, what was the most? What was the the most inconvenient? Why not? I that I well, I I I did the uh, oh god, I Wasn't poured like water, sho- yeah, the shower onto like my bat, like <laughs> overflowing the toilet, like it was all over my yeah, overflowing like, living the toilet. Room. That's crazy. Yeah, um, <laughs> doing stuff like that. Uh, I, the other uh, a few weeks ago, I did like a, I put a garden in my bathroom, and it took forever to clean. <laughs> forever, just like there was like pounds of soil. In my bathroom. I'm like, why, why? Like, there's some that take, like, so much longer to clean. Another one was, like, perfect cookies. I, I did, like, I baked cookies and, like, there, there is still, like, dough in my tiles. Like, How many glasses tiles. have you broke? Uh, you always uh, shove one, things one, in your glasses. One, yeah, one or two. One or two. You shove pairs of glasses. Dough into your glasses and they look like they break every time. Yes, they broke. <laughs> they broke. Uh, all oh, in- another. I just remembered another one where I got in trouble, which was I did this one called nap where I slept in the middle of the highway. <laughs> I took like a nap in between the thing. And like as I'm sl- sleeping there and Emily's like uh, above the highway, like taping me, uh, an off-duty cop pulls over. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Because I was in a full tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was like some maniac. And I'm like, I'm just shooting something. He's like, get the fuck off the highway or I'm going to fucking arrest you. And so I had to like, go, excuse me, I'm out of here. Did we get it? <laughs> it was just like terrible. Did we get it? Yeah. And it's hard because she has to get it within Snap. You can't upload video. Yeah, right? that's right. You that's can't right. just shoot and then hope for the best. Yeah. So what's next? What's the goal it's with a Snap? Specific skill set, the cameraman. She is amazing at it. Like, yeah. well, I have sometimes I'll have a few other friends. My friend Jason Berger does helps me um, to give Emily a break, and my sister helps me. Um, but there's like you know certain things that you have to shoot in a certain amount of time, and the music is like a big part of my thing. Oh, too, right. How do you line up stuff. the music? You're just like playing um, from Spotify, right? Yeah, you have to like – sometimes you have to do it at a certain time and like you you have to uh, – sometimes you have to use two phones and stuff. And, wow. Yeah, um, that's annoying. So what's what's the next step or like ultimate long-term goal? Like is it just keep going until you're getting millions of views and um, figuring out? Is I money think, an issue, an, a, a part of it at all? Yeah, I mean like it's it's it's, exp- it's expensive <laughs> to do. Um, I'm So my plan is hopefully to – you know, I'm developing in, in, into a show now, a sketch show. So, oh wow, I'm hoping you That'd know, be great. Yeah, and turn it into something bigger. Almost like Jackass, but 
not jackass? Sort of, yeah. Like a surreal version. Right. Yeah. Where you're hurting yourself. Yeah, it's more like a, uh, um, you know. Jackass all Dave England. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess jackass hurts themselves. They do, but I mean, my goal is not to sort of like push the limits of my body. It's more to just like try to do something funny or surreal or how do yeah. you do that? Surrealist jackass is a great yeah. uh, way to describe the yeah, Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you ever done like branded stuff? If people are like, would you put a Coke in a door-to-door door salesman i haven't weirdly i have a ton of like products in there i just like like to do like shittier versions of product and stuff <laughs> free um, product placement you've done i mean so i've far. done stuff for snapchat that door-to-door uh, door salesman was for originally for snapchat oh that's itself. cool um but yeah sweet uh and you're all in you like do you prefer this to like tv writing or is it just a different muscle it's a different muscle i like them both but this i mean i'm like this is me being fully creative and i get to like i get to you know choose do all different types of like you know i'm choosing music i'm doing art stuff like all the stuff i photoshop and like right and so i get photoshop all that yeah i photoshop all All the labels and all the labels yeah Um, (laughs) and so yeah i get i I feel like i get to do a bunch of different you know things and this is like this is a hundred percent you it is a hundred percent me me being a weirdo yeah well i'm glad uh we all get to see it yeah, um, uh, Gil Ozeri on Snapchat. Day. Thank you, guys. No doubt. Uh, do you have time to answer one more real question? Of course, from a real person. Yes. Uh, this is a a male twenty six year old. So we need one last fake name. Yidio Stage. <laughs> <laughs> Full name? Yidio Stage. Yeah. <laughs> Stage is the last name. Of course. Yidio Stage. Stage. Uh, <laughs> Have myself a problem with the GF. Some quick background on us. We were both virgins prior to knowing each other and have had no STDs. She is 20. I am 26. Now let's rewind the clocks a year ago when the GF and I started dating and became sexually active. It was about two months in and she was extremely horny. And from that point forward, (laughs) she was almost always horny until she finally went on the pill. It was about two months after that that I noticed that her sexual appetite diminished to next to nothing. Her and I have had small conversations about why this could happen, and this is what I had thought had been the case. The pill had lowered her sex drive to nearly nothing, or I'm not that attractive to her anymore. It's got to be number two. Or, (laughs) according to her, sex seems to hurt and is causing her burn and hurt. And I had thought this to be vaginitis or a yeast infection by pain being incorporated into sex. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy with sex becomes pain. And yes, even lube eventually leads to it, although prolonged. Okay. Uh, Now, we've reached a point where I'm sexually frustrated. And in turn, (laughs) I've become upset. (laughs) (laughs) I've become upset, making her upset. She always apologizes that she's never horny, but sorry doesn't fix the problem. I insisted she goes to the gynecologist to see if prescribing a different brand of birth control could change her sexual drive. Am I being a jerk for insisting for her to see a doctor? I try to be empathetic with her, but even I have limits where she will have sex with me maybe once every two months. And ultimately, what uh, what do you two experienced guys think what her and I should do? Am I the problem? Does she have a problem? Or is it this tiny pill that's the problem? Uh, Horatio stage? Virgio stage? Yidio. Yidio Yidio stage. stage. Uh, What do you think? Uh, He sounds sounds like a bit of an asshole. Because he's mad at her. I think anytime you insist your girl to do something (laughs) to her body, you're being an asshole. She has to want to do it. Uh, Well, he's looking at it the wrong way. Like... She probably wants to have an enjoyable sexual experience as well. Right. So he has to stop thinking of like how much it sucks for him and how he – But how she he seems to be her. fine with it or complacent at something. Well, she's like. apologizing. She's feeling bad. She, I'm sure that they, they both want the same thing. But he's turning it into this thing like I'm being deprived of sex because of something you did. Right. Well, I mean, like, I can sympathize with him for, like, wanting sex or, like, whatever. But, like, it, it feels like you're right. He's, like, sort of looking at it at, as, like, this is a pro- – who's to blame here? <laughs> is it my girlfriend or what is – I needed someone to blame. As or the pill to being, like, she's taking. Yeah, just, like, I, I get it. Like, 
just sort of like I'm sure she wants to yeah. like no one wants but, to make you feel bad or right. also not have sex like but she also doesn't want to go to the gynecologist does he say she doesn't want to go yeah he said I insisted that she goes to see the gynecologist to change her sexual drive am I being a jerk for insisting that she should did she say no but she didn't say she didn't want to go uh oh interesting I guess I read it as she didn't want to um but maybe she did anyway no did she say like she doesn't want to have sex because she associates it with pain uh yeah i think he said that was one of her theory his theories that sex seems to hurt at her causing her burn and hurt see this that see just the fact that you called it theories makes me think that they're not communicating as much as they should mm. like uh, he should know exactly what she thinks and why she doesn't want to have sex oh yeah, and then you once you have be that developing theories you should be yes talking you should be like hey this is feedback. what she says this is why she doesn't right. want to do it this yeah. is how she feels as opposed to also assuming like am i like not attractive to her that's all like you can't like a like start to like take it inwards and stuff like the, that feels stupid it mm-hmm. seems like the idea of a diminishing sex drive does happen over time but sure. this is from uh, from the pill no, definitely uh, yeah. yeah i mean not i don't think just a diminishing sex drive from uh, they're both so young and like yes. also once yeah. every two months is that's even but, for people that are like have been together a long time. That's the pill does affect sex drive, though. But you, I mean, and you could definitely switch it. But you should. They should talk to each other. It feels like, and yeah, if she switches it, it should be because they've. Dis- well, actually, she's decided to switch it <laughs> yes. based on like what they've talked about for their relationship or whatever, not because he's insisted that she goes to the gynecologist. Yeah, I also wouldn't get insecure. She'll let you know if she's not attracted to you <laughs> anymore. By yes, breaking exactly. Up. Like by for breaking instance, up if with you. If she read this email, she yes. might not be attracted <laughs> yeah. to you anymore. But the fact that she's still 20 makes me feel like uh, it's more than just like, oh, after a few years, her sex drive has just diminished. This is just, it's two months into a, th- like two months ago, she was very horny, and now two months later, she's. Well, it not. could be the pill. It just feels like it's sort of conjecture until she actually says this is what's happening. This right. is why I'd... she. He never says this is exactly why she feels this way, right? Yeah. No, she I guess said not. That she said there it was painful, right? right. Yeah, she that's like a possible reason why you wouldn't want to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> why would it become painful? Oh, because of according to him, vaginitis or a yeast infection. Could be the shape of his dick. Oh, I guess I didn't think about he that. He does have a jagged little penis. <laughs> yes. He has a knife <laughs> cock. <laughs> very rare. Yeah, very rare. Uh, <laughs> so sharp. <laughs> so sharp and thorny. <laughs> a rosy knife cock. Like, That's his problem. Yeah, he's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talk to your girlfriend, figure out exactly why she doesn't want to sleep with you, and then address the, the issue from there. Yeah. Uh, all right. And also remember to talk to her from a place of, I want you to be happy yes. and, sec- and feel sexy. Instead of bla- finding and, someone to blame. So like, well, why aren't you fucking me? <laughs> I'm upset now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Am that's I not hot enough for you? Do I have my... the right to yell at her now? <laughs> <laughs> Can I raise my voice Wait, towards her? I've scolded the woman I love. What if I get her far away from me so I have to scream so that she hears me? Yeah. So that way I still get to raise my voice. I don't think you understand. I haven't come in months. <laughs> I'm backed up. I'm backed up. I'm full of razor blades. I can't even jerk off because of my thorny little dick. <laughs> I have a jagged dick and I want to scream. <laughs> what do I do? That is the title. Uh, all right, cool. Uh one last question I wanted to ask you. Did you shoot – do you have a, a – by your Snapchat, do you have a yes. long list of ideas? I or do, do you, yeah. I mean – So you um, like know what you know, you're, you're going to shoot Sometimes next? I'll do stuff like I'll see stuff in the moment. But yeah, I'll def- I definitely have a list of like – not just because I'm like sitting down and going whatever. But right. like oh, we're like, oh, that would be funny. That would be funny. Let's, and I just add it to is, a nice big list. Is there anything on the list that you <laughs> are dreading knowing that you're going to do it? There's a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I, can't, I just can't do that. Right? Wow. I just can't either monetarily <laughs> or just like I cannot bring myself to do it. Like on an airplane shit? <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. I cannot you... shit on an airplane. All the... <laughs> there are things, yeah, there are just a list I'm, uh, on the list. And I'm just like, <laughs> no. The, and I, I've said no every day. Too public? You don't want to put it's, other people in A lot in of that arm? is because of it's, it's in public. Like yeah. uh, none of my snaps are pranks on anybody else. Yeah. Like, I don't. 
I it, don't want to do like I don't even want people to react when I'm there. Right. In I, fact, one of my favorite ones is when you got an entire restaurant to laugh at you. you uh, which one was that? You the, got a restaurant to, to point boo and laugh. Oh, yeah. boo, to boo me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To boo. I'd rather not, people not react if I'm doing something weird. I sort of want to be treated like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> where like they're oh that's just a you know that's just him. He's just weird. <laughs> right. Like I, I like it's not interesting to me to prank people, but I like. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I have would have to do in public and either ask permission or just like just deal with I don't know. Just, yeah, and I'm just like I can't I can't do it yet. I think the one of the I think what you why you can get away with it is because you are so funny and smart in real life that like I can be as dumb <laughs> as I want and you don't feel insecure about coming off as dumb. No. Because you are very the confident. The dumber the better, baby. Right, exactly. But yeah. if you were actually dumb, I feel I like I mean there are would... also like 10 seconds it's like, you know, I don't know. It feels like part of it is just like be like the point is to be so, sort of silly and yeah. whatever, you know. Do your in laws or parents watch it? Oh, yeah. yeah, my mom loves them. Oh, they love she loves my them. dad, less so. Um, <laughs> he just, just like he doesn't know how to use Snapchat either. He's just like, so, when I'll post something on Facebook or whatever, Israeli dad, yeah, my Israeli dad. Yeah. This is <laughs> like, your mom watches them on Snapchat, my mom watches them on Snap and on Instagram too. It's so funny to imagine like a mom, she like she probably only has one Snapchat that she looks at, yeah, her whole story feed is just it's just one, it's just thing. mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> All right. Last, one last time, your Snapchat name is Gil Ozeri. Gil Ozeri, yes. And then on Twitter, if you missed the old one, that's Gil Ozeri Snap. That's correct. And on Instagram. Tight. Uh, is there anything else you want to plug before you have to go? Uh, no. That's it. Perfect. Uh, thanks for coming Thank on you, the show, though. dude. Thank you. This was so fun. Yes. Yeah. I love you guys. Let's have you back before episode 498. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> I'm living here now, so I might as well. Oh, did episode you? Episode 498. <laughs> oh, you're living in the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, all right. The opening theme song was written uh, by Rebecca. And this closing one, another Wagon Wheel parody. Written by Grace. Hell yeah. Rebecca the American Doll. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> the Jewish American Doll. Yeah. Buy her Hanukkah today American before American. Hanukkah. It's going to get sold out. Uh, the closing one is by Grace. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you have your own theme songs or your own questions, the email address for everything is if I were you show at gmail.com. Thanks again, Gil, for coming. Thank you. No doubt. We'll Thank be back you. next week. Later. Washing the dishes or headed to school. Listen to these guys. They are pretty cool. Write in your questions and maybe be put on blast. They'll make you laugh and maybe cry. Either way, they always try. No matter what, you'll be so happy you ask. Email them in, their advice is ideal Don't you worry, things will get real Hey, if I were you Email them in, I'll tell you to break up Or ask about your Tinder hookup Hey, if I were you That was a HeadGum Podcast